It is officially the holiday season and every year I shoot an annual Thanksgiving episode and my team was encouraging me <laughs> to get this episode completed. And I have to tell you, I was in a little bit of resistance because this past month has just been super stressful. In all transparency, we've been looking to buy a home and move out of where we are right now, this beautiful neighborhood we've been in. And as you know, moves can be super stressful, but just the, tr the transaction has been really, really challenging. And then we are shifting things that inspired living, all good things, but we're changing up business models and making big investments. And I have to tell you <laughs> that as I'm heading in to Thanksgiving and this episode on gratitude, it's perfect timing for me too. And so whether you're in a place right now where you are in a place of resistance and you feel like you're in a season of climbing up that mountain, right? With that big boulder on your back, or you're in more of a season where you're kind of coasting, I really hope that today, this episode brings you a sense of peace and inner knowing that no matter what you're going through right now, whether it's a great season or a challenging one to remember that no matter what's happening, that it's always perfect. And I have to remind myself of that too. You know, Steve Jobs says, you can't connect the dots in front of you. You can only connect them behind you. So as we're wrapping up 2021, and I'm looking at all the dots, it's been a big year. I got married this year after postponing it, you know, with COVID and, you know, have a little boy. Landon is a year and a half and Lauren started first grade and changed schools. And we had the brilliant event and we've been launching master classes. By the way, we have one coming up December 6th. It's just been, it's been a very busy season. And I remember growing up um, as a high schooler, my mom, I remember the kitchen conversations with my mom, Carrie, you have to let go of something. You just can't keep doing it all. And I think that there's this part of me that wears busy and taking on lots of things as a badge of honor. And I'm getting into this place where as I'm sitting in gratitude for all the things, I'm healthy, I have a beautiful home, I have a business I truly love, you know, that there's still gonna be things that challenge you and challenge me, but just to remember that everything is always happening for us and sometimes you just got to breathe through it. Right? You just got to breathe through it. And so as we move into this season, I'm committed to more space. I'm committed to saying no to more, saying yes to myself, really carving out that time for those precious moments. I don't know, as a mom, you know, running a business, I think, I don't, I can't say I experience mom guilt so much, but just like you feel like you're never fully present in one place. And I'm committed to just showing up when I'm in business mode to show up with full intention to serve and be present there. And when I'm in mom mode, I get to be fully present there. And Michael and I are actually finally taking our belated honeymoon um, and we're going to be out of town here. We're headed to GoldenEye in Jamaica. And I will tell you, it's such a perfect time to just create that space and practice what it is that I'm gonna be sharing with you today. I have learned over the years how important it is to practice gratitude. And yet when you're in moments of great challenge or resistance, it's usually the first thing you throw out the door, right? <laughs> like, what do I have to be grateful for? Life is hard. And we wait for things to become great again before we practice gratitude. But through my many years of personal development and working with my dear friend, Sabrina Rising, who's an intuitive coach, she reminds me often that the words we speak create the house we live in. Mm, I'm gonna say that one more time. The words we speak create the house we live in. So I have to be very mindful as I'm going through this stressful time in my own life to continue to practice gratitude for all the things, right? All the good things. Because the more you focus on what it is that you want, the feeling of how you want to feel, right? We focus on the feeling of gratitude. The more things come into our life that we can be grateful for. And I'm a big believer in trusting God and the universe 
And if something is just too, too hard, if there's too much resistance around something, then we get to let it go and let it up. And whatever happens, happens. And that's where Michael and I are with this house right now. We're like, look, honey, like maybe the universe is telling us something. Maybe this just isn't the right house for us. And so trusting my life, trusting whatever shows up is what's supposed to be. And that can be hard, right? Because you make a plan. I'm a big planner. You make a plan, you set the vision, you put it into action. And then you're like, what? But I thought, but how many times has that happened to you? And something that you really wanted didn't happen. And then you look back and you connect those dots and you realize it shouldn't have. There was something much greater that was waiting for you, but you had to let go of that thing, right? That you thought you wanted so badly. And that's happened to me many times throughout my life, whether it was a business deal, or I remember when I was auditioning for things, it was the gig I thought I really wanted. I'll never forget. Um, when I first moved out to Los Angeles over 10 years ago, before I started Inspired Living, I auditioned for QVC. And I was in the top five of like 2,500 people that auditioned and they flew me out to Pennsylvania and we did on-set auditions. And I sat in the room with the executive producer and she said, now Carrie, you realize you're gonna have to move to Pennsylvania. You're gonna make 80,000 a year which at that moment, after losing my talent agency, I thought, oh my God, that's amazing, right? Like, I'll take whatever you want to give me. And the first, your first job would be from 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. Okay, 1 a.m. And so as I sat in the office and she asked me that, I knew deep down, I did not want that. But of course, with a smile on my face, I said, absolutely, that sounds amazing, I'm in. And when I didn't get the job, my ego was bruised. I was definitely disappointed. But if I look back, I can't imagine how different my life would be if I booked that job as a host of QVC. <laughs> like I wouldn't be here with my multi seven figure business doing what I love that allows me to be the most authentic version of myself. And so I have to trust, we get to trust that when a door closes, a window will open. And it might not even be the window we even imagine to be in the house. I'm going to go with the house analogy today. So as we move into Thanksgiving, I want to remind you that whatever season you're in right now, I'm a big believer. We all go through seasons, seasons of challenge, seasons of grace, seasons of abundance, seasons of scarcity, that it's all perfect. And that when we let go of expectations, we let the miracles come in. And I need to hear that today. I'm gonna to go back and listen to this podcast too, because I have to tell you, I have been tired and worn out over the last few months, just dealing with all the different things I have going on. And I'm sure you, know, you understand completely that that happens, but it's our reaction to what happens that allows us to stay in force or flow. And that is my commitment this season, to be in flow, to let go, of what I think I need and what I think I want and let God in the universe lay the ground, lay the path. And so as we head into Thanksgiving, I first of all wanna say thank you. Thank you so much for listening and watching these episodes. Your reviews mean the world to me. If you haven't already, I just you know would ask that you, you, you know, go to Apple Podcasts and leave a review because your reviews allow more people to hear the amazing interviews and content that we put out. And I know that people don't need just inspiration, they need strategy. And it's through Inspired Living that we're so passionate about helping people live their most genius life, their, their most beautiful life, their most inspired life by doing their genius work in the world, by making an incredible contribution. And because of that, they're rewarded with abundance and income that we can then put back into community and things that we care about. And so I am literally so grateful for you. Thank you so much for being a part of the Inspired Living community, the Inspired Living family. And I just, again, you know, would, would ask that you leave that review and help us get the message out to more people. So as we head in to this beautiful season, I wanna go through a couple things um, that I need to hear today as well in regards to gratitude. So not waiting for things to be great, to be grateful, to understand that we are all in different seasons 
but that where our intention goes, energy flows, right? What we focus on is what we create. And the simple practice of gratitude, something I've done for years, but something I often have to remind myself to do is understanding, you know, that that moment each and every day where you take time to literally breathe in what it feels to be grateful. So here are a few things. If you don't know what a grateful, uh, what a gratitude practice is, it is simply training yourself to notice and appreciate the good things that are going on. I'm gonna say that again, training yourself to notice and appreciate the good things because it's real easy to notice and focus on all the bad things that are happening. Right? It's so easy to focus, but then when you focus on those negative things, we just bring in more negative stuff, right? Because what we focus on is what we create. So a gratitude practice is focusing your energy and training yourself to focus on the good. And a few ways to do that, if you haven't already, is to start a practice of gratitude. And for some of you, that just might be taking a moment each and every day to write down three things that you're grateful for three things that you're grateful for. It could be fresh air. It can be health. It can be, you know, you've you've done that next thing in your business, whatever that is for you, big or small, to find the things that you're grateful for. And if you live in the United States, we have so many things. We have the freedom of choice. We have the freedom of religion. We have the freedom to start and grow a business at any time we want. We have the freedom to love whoever we want. We are really so fortunate in this country to have choice. That's what I'm grateful for each and every day. So a simple thing you can do is just write out three things every day and start a journal and look back, right, on those things that you're grateful for. Even when you're going through something of great resistance, there are things you can find to be grateful for. One of the things I love, which I do with my family, Um, every night is we talk about, you know, what was the best part of your day? What was the worst part of your day? And what are you grateful for? And we share that around the table. So maybe this Thanksgiving, you go around the table and everyone shares what they're grateful for. And you just make that a daily practice. How great is that to bring that gratitude to your table every single night and for your kids to learn how to focus on the good things, right? How to focus on the good things. As I said in the beginning of this episode, you know, Steve Jobs, that quote that you can't connect the dots behind you, in front of you, you can only connect them behind you. And I, for me, what allows me to feel the immense feeling of gratitude I have for my life today is looking back at some of the things that I've gone through, some of the adversity, the challenges, the heartache that I have overcome. And I get to be here with you today feeling this immense feeling of gratitude for the work I get to do, the people I get to serve. And so looking at really how far you've come is a great way to practice gratitude. Look at the things, look at the challenges that you've overcome that have brought you to where you are. And look at how amazing and resilient and capable you are And that everything usually lines up, right, for your best and highest good. Be mindful of your words is another way to practice gratitude, to not gossip, to take time to breathe life and love into people. It's so great. When I'm out with Lauren, we'll be shopping and she'll stop me and she'll say, mom, can I go tell that little girl that she's pretty? Mom, can I go tell that woman that I love her dress? Mom, can I go give this person a compliment? Of Of course you can. Yes. And I just, I love that she wants to do that so much. It was actually one of the things my grandmother did every time she was in line at the grocery store. She would always compliment the cashier or the people who were bagging her groceries. And she would comment on their eyes or their beautiful smile. And that is something that I do to this day that I don't go anywhere and not leave a compliment for someone. It's the easiest thing you can give. And you know what? It makes you feel really good too. So that's a great way as well to practice gratitude for what you have is to share that love and share that peace and share the the abundance with someone else. So watch your words. Again, the words you say create the house you live in. Thank you, Sabrina Rising. And lastly, make a vow to practice gratitude, not just at Thanksgiving, 
right? Not just over Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever it is you celebrate, but as you go into this next year, put it on your calendar, make it a vow, make it something that you do for you. And I can guarantee that you're going to bring in so many more things to be grateful for. I can't tell you that every day will be rainbows and lollipops. <laughs> As we're going through this ordeal right now, I'm thinking to myself, how did I manifest this? Like, I practice gratitude. I'm a nice person. <laughs> like, how did I bring this into my life? And yet I always remember there's a lesson to learn. There's always something to gain. And, you know, there's always an outcome that I can garner so much from it. So just take some inventory, take some time in your life to look around. And again, if you're in a place of resistance to look at, you know, what's showing up there, how you can let go, let God, let the universe, let go of expectations, but be clear on intention. Let go of expectations, but be clear on intention. Um, my intention with Inspired Living is to serve as many people as I possibly can for us to help you and entrepreneurs all around the world authentically show up on camera because that's the way you can share your message with more people, right? Visibility right now has never been more important. And for you to show up in a way that is enlightened and encouraged and on brand, like what is on brand for you? And how do you actually show up as that go-to expert in your industry so you can make the impact that you so badly desire and the income that you deserve? And so coming up December 6th through the 10th, I am doing my last masterclass video confidence and conversion. So if you're ready to get over that fear of being seen, the fear of judgment, the fear of what to say, the fear of technology, just all the stuff that comes when it comes to using video to grow your business, please join me. Please join me December 6th through the 10th. It is video confidence and conversion. You can go to inspiredliving.tv forward slash register. Again, inspiredliving.tv forward slash register. I'm on a mission, my friend, to help you get out there, to grow and scale your business, to stop doing all the things and to focus on the things that you do the best, to share your message, to share your story, and to show up in a way that other people see themselves in you. A reminder to be the guide, not the hero, when it comes to showing up online, and to help other people see what's capable in their life. So again, if you want to learn how to do this effortlessly on camera, go to inspiredliving.tv forward slash register for a video confidence and conversion. Have a blessed and beautiful Thanksgiving. Thank you again for being a part of this beautiful community. And I really look forward to all that we're going to experience <laughs> um, through the end of this year and next year. Be kind to yourself make time and space for you, and continue to practice gratitude. Happy Thanksgiving. You've just heard another uplifting episode of Inspired Living with Carrie Murphy, the podcast. I hope you loved it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, rate, and review this podcast. And if you'd like to know more about Inspired Living or to get your hands on many of our awesome free resources, such as the Be Studio Ready Guide, simply visit us at inspiredliving.tv forward slash podcast. Remember, your vision is your destiny, and we're here to help you bring it to life. Join me again next week for another extraordinary episode.